Hey guys, making another tutorial. Um, I was just messing around and I decided that I should make a tutorial about some of the features that Fire Alpaca has. Um, I'm just going to do one for now until I feel like doing another one. So I have the image all prepared, as messy as it is, so let's start. So I wanted to do layers today. Um, I only have three up. The bottom one is never used. And um, we're going to look at the blending as well as the three options, protect, alpha, clipping, and uh, lock. So it, it's a lot of fun. Um, it'll help with a lot of drawing and some technique. So we're going to start with the protect, alpha, the clipping, and the lock options. Each one is uh, pretty different in itself. It's a lot of fun though. Um, and you can use them all at once or one at a time. I'm going to show you one at a time because it's just easier to explain. So the first one we're going to start with right now is the Protect Alpha option. Um, the Alpha is the transparent background that you have on all of your layers. It's just, it just happens. <laughs> so Protect Alpha. So pretty much what it is is you can't draw anything outside of what you already have drawn. Like I already had the heart drawn up in the right side of the heart. There's a new blue ish purple line and that is what I drew with the protect alpha. I ran the stylus all the way across and I could not draw outside of the heart. The next one we're going to be looking at is clipping. I'm actually going to be doing this on the second layer, not the heart layer. Um, and clipping, well it's pretty self-explanatory when you see it, otherwise you just kind of look at it going clipping? Okay. It uh, does a lot of the same as the Protect Alpha, except for the whole image. As you can see here, I, I've selected clipping on the top layer where all the blue is, and um, it completely cropped out everything that was in the alpha around uh, the heart. So it only it works on the entire image and not just the one layer, unlike the Protect Alpha. The last one is Lock, and there's really no good way to show this in screen captures. Pretty much what lock does is you can't do anything to that layer anymore. It's locked. You can't, you can't move anything. You can't change its size. You can't change colors. You can do nothing to it. It's done. So yeah, fun. Uh, the next one we're going to be looking at is some of this blending. Uh, usually the thing is at normal, and I'm hoping that when I exit out of mine it won't be something different because I will forget to change it. <laughs> So usually have normal. A normal is just what you see, what I've usually been doing. So normal is normal. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is the first option under normal, which is multiply. I really don't understand the naming for this, so I'm really sorry about this. But I guess multiply is just adding the colors together, but that's add and yeah, so I don't get multiply. But this is what multiply looks like. I never changed the colors on any of these, but you can see that it changed the colors on the heart, but not outside of the heart, which is interesting. Um, so the dark blue becomes the black, the light blue periwinkle is whatever color that is. Um, adding is the next option. Adding is adding the color to it like it's in a paint like an actual paint. So you add the yellow to the blue and you get green. In this case we're adding blue to red, in which case you're going to get purple, which is going to be shown here shortly. Um, the funny thing is I got pink with the periwinkle thing. Um, but yeah, this is what add looks like. Same colors, still unchanged, and still outside of the heart, the colors stay exactly the same as I had originally intended them to be. So, yeah. The next one here is Overlay. Yep. Pretty much just taking either the brightness or the darkness, I think, of the color used and overlaying that. So you still don't get the same color. And again, I'm sorry, I don't understand the naming. Oh well, it works. <laughs> so here's our overlay. I got a beautiful bright red and I want to say a very dark red because I don't think that's black yet. But the colors didn't mix, and they just took the brightness or the darkness out of the color and added it onto the layer that it's on top of, which is fun. 
The next one is Screen. I feel like I should know this one better than I do, and I actually do know it, I just can't explain it. But, screening, it's like... Yeah, no, I can't explain it. I'm sorry. It's screen. Um, the image will show you what screen is. Um, so pretty much screen. Just taking the colors again, changing them. It's kind of like add, but a little different. Uh, yeah. A little bit darker than that. Just taking more of the original color and adding it to the dark or to the base color. And that's really it for today. So thank you for watching. I hope you ask some questions so I can get better tutorials out.